So Liz thought of this tech idea that I was going to get all the directions live if through this. that she was going to speak into the, during the show and tell me what to do. And it kind of works. It works amazingly fine. It works perfectly because um, she says things like, run away, run behind the door, and I go behind the door. I just have to listen to this, you know, and, um, and, uh, and do what she says, like, uh, you know, bang my head on the table or, you know, smoke my cigarette or, um, or gesture, or moan, or cry, you know, basically there's five or six things that I do, and, and I can do that. I, I, for some reason, I can cry and moan. Oh, if you haven't done it, No, 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 guys, can we stop now? Now I'm worried about what's going to be the effect, What's what kind of psychological effect is it going to have to be fed all my impulses, to be fed all these imperatives, these directly into my ear, and I'm acting on them without thinking. Uh, you know, on the uh, uh, stage, I didn't trust my motivations, I didn't trust my impulses, because, because I'm not an actor. But when the director feeds them, I trust them. Because they're not my mistakes. I don't have to worry about making a mistake. It's a workaround, it's a hack for my own insecurities. But what kind of effect is this gonna have? What is it gonna do to my brain waves? Is that gonna be addictive? Am I gonna need that uh, in my regular life? Uh, that track, Liz, telling me what to do at every moment. In a way, um, this crosses out my own thinking. During that stage time. And stage time is a type of dream. It's a kind of, it's a, it's not, it's a, it's not reality, you know?